and Simeon and Judah. That why Champa Kadali is type of banana, very sweet, and Champa Kadali and sugar, ghee, and camphor all mixed. This one type. In this way, various types are prepared. You understand? So I tell them, let them take it one one item, prepare one one item, as many grossers as can. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> if one person cannot do, what do they say? Is it alive? Yeah. <laughs> Then Nityananda Prabhu sat on that elevated pendle and his followers sat under the set of that big banyan tree in a circle. And those who are unlookers, many brahmanas and other persons, many persons, innumerable persons are standing there. And all sat there, getting to sat. And to each person, two thoughts were given. You understand? Two are the thoughts. In one, there is milk and chuda mixed. In another, yogurt and chuda mixed. Two thoughts for each person. The sap. You understand? In this way, innumerable persons are there. All the two thoughts. Mm. Twenty persons were serving, were engaged in serving, twenty persons. Mm. At this time Raga Pandit arrived there. And with him Raga Pandit had got some prasad, uncooked, nisankuri prasad, dry prasad. So first he gave some prasad to Nityan Prabhu, then he distributed the run, rest. Among others. So Raga Pandit asked Nitan Prabhu, I have prepared prasad for you at my board, and you are performing festival here. So, what shall I do with that prasad? I have prepared at my home. So Nitan Prabhu said, All right, during daytime we will eat all this prasad here. Arranged by the Unata. So at night, we'll go there and have your prasad. You understand? So daytime arrangement is there, but not night time they will arrange. <laughs> so Raghunata, Raghu Pandit Prasad. So whole day festival. What do you say? Nice festival? Whole day feeding. Nice. <laughs> So who will give at night? Eh? Who will give? Some singer from you will give? Or some more Babu give? Who will give? Eh? You give. So some more Babu will give at night. Hurry! That's grand festival. <laughs> so, at that time, Nityan Prabhu could remember the Pulit Bhodan Leela in Dwapar Jun. Nityan Prabhu is Balaba and Mahaprabhu is Krishna, two brothers. So in Dwapar Jun, Krishna and Balaram, with the cowherd boys, Combinedly, uh, performing at the uh, manifesting that Leela sitting on the bank of Jamuna in a circle, eating together, the fully, fully in the Jamuna Leela. So, Nitan Prabhu could remember it. Now, this is the bank of Ganges. Mm. So, Nitan Prabhu, that mood came up in Nitan Prabhu's mind. So Nithar Prabhu said, Gopa Dhati Ami Bahu Gopa Vana Sange Ami Sukhapaye Pulina Bhodana Sange. He said, I am a cowherd boy. So with the many cowherd boys, uh, we were feeding, we were eating, 
So I get pleasure, much pleasure in this Kulin Pudal, sitting on the bank of a river, Yamuna river, Ganges river, sitting together. This is, I am very much pleased. So, Raghav Pandit also sat there, also at two types of Jira, who, when all the persons were served with these two types of Jira, then Nityan Prabhu in meditation for Srimad Mahaprabhu, Sita Mahaprabhu, in meditation he called me. Then Mahaprabhu came. Mm. All person couldn't see Mahaprabhu. Nityan Prabhu could see him. When Mahaprabhu came, Nityan Prabhu stood up. Mm. Then took him with him and go around. Mm, and showed him the prasad served, could have been served there. And from each person's pot, one handful, he was taking and putting it in the Mahaprabhu's mouth. Then stand, school in Bhagavad And similarly also, Mahaprabhu uh, was taking one handful and putting it in the mouth of Nityananda. This is coming by the Lila. Mm. With much pleasure they are doing like that. Mm. Mm. All people couldn't see Mahaprabhu. Very few fortunate people could see. Mm. Then Nityan Prabhu sat on his asan mat and at his right side made Mahaprabhu sit there. Mm. So for Mahaprabhu he brought four earthen pots, Atat Chuda. What do you say Atat Chuda? Dry Chuda, isn't it? Dry Chuda. And two earthen pots, Dugdha Chuda. Chuda mixed with milk. And two earthen pots, Dadhi Chuda. Chuda mixed with Dugdha. Four, two, two, eight. Do you understand? Mm. Then two brothers sat together, Nityananda Prabhu and Srinan Mahaprabhu, and they ate Chuda. Mm. At that time, Nityananda Prabhu became ecstatic, so happy, mm, and told his body, Bala Hari <laughs> so all said Hari Bol in thunderous sound and then began speaking. Agyandila Hari Boli, Karaha Bhajan Hari Hari Dhani Uti Pudula, Hari Lakhu Van Om, this planet is filled with that sound of Hari Bol. Mm. So all boys know us saying Hari Bol. Hey. So, Nityan Prabhu and Sumam Sitra Mahaprabhu could remember the Kulin Bhodan Lila they were doing during Dwapar Juru when they were Krishna and Bhava. And both of them showered their mercy upon Ravunath Udhar. Nityan Mahaprabhu, Krupal Udhar, Ravunath Udhar Bhagya Ute, Kaila Udhita. No, I must say that. Now I'm speaking to Gorya. <laughs> so, what I have said in English, at what point I have said in English? All eight. Isn't All eight. And both. Srimad Mahaprabhu and uh, Nityan Prabhu remember to pull in Bhojin Vaila, isn't it? Mm. So all sour mercy upon Ravunath, both of them, Nityan Prabhu and Srimad Mahaprabhu. Mm. Nityan Mahaprabhu, Krupalu Udhar, Ravunath er bhagya etu koila unika. Both Nityan Prabhu and Mahaprabhu are very, very kind. 
very broad heart at Madhavan. So it's Raghunath's fortune, good fortune, that they accepted this food of Rabbi Raghunath, whereby they showered their mercy on him. Many shopkeepers came when they heard that a great festival was going on there. They came with the, their commodities, Chira, Jogrut, Dadhi, Sundays, ripe plantain, all these things they came to sell there. You understand? Mm. Raghunath purchased all, all commodities from all the subpeoples. He purchased all. Mm. And he paid one and all. Innumerable people were there and paid one and all. Mm. Mm. Many, many innumerable mm, people came there to see. Whoever went there, he was paid. Oh. Mm. Then after that, when Nityan Prabhu finished his eating, then he did asaman, washed his mouth and mouth. Then four pots, four arjan pots, now they are remnants. You understand? Remnants of two brothers. That means Nitan Prabhu and Suman Mahaprabhu were given to Ravunatha. That's the mercy. Mm. Then Ravunath offered flower garland, mala, sandalwood paste, chandon, to Nitan Prabhu. When Ravunath got the remnant of Nitan Prabhu, was very, very happy. Mm. This is Sura the You understand? The festival mm. performed by mm. Raghunath Das. Then Nitan Prabhu took rest. So at night, festival was there at the residence of Ayurveda. So Nitan Prabhu went there with all his followers. Ramnath Das also went there, and Mahaprabhu also went there. The temple called Mahaprabhu in meditation. Mahaprabhu came, all could not see Mahaprabhu. Very few fortunate persons saw. And Nityan Prabhu with his, with the devotees, danced there ecstatically. Mm. All could see Nityan Prabhu, nobody could see except a very few Mahaprabhu. Mm. Such ecstatic dance, nice dance, nobody can describe such nice. Mm. Because such ecstatic nice dance, dance was so ecstatic that Mahaprabhu himself came to see it. Mm. After dancing, when Nityan Prabhu took a rest, and then Raghav Pandit requested to take Prasa. Bhajane Vasila Prabhu Nija Gana Lohya Maha Prabhu Asana Nahine Padya. So Nityan Prabhu sat with all his followers, he would be there to have Prasa and, and he put one asana at his right hand side for Maha Prabhu. Maha Prabhu then sat there. Raghav Pandit was very much pleased to see. First, these two Prabhu, Mahaprabhu and Nityam Prabhu, took Prasa. They ate first. After that, all devotees were fed. Nana Prakar Pitha Payasu Vidva Salyana Amurta Ninda Eche Vividu Benjam. Raghav Thakur Er Prasad Amurta Er Sar Mahaprabhu Jaha Thaite Aise Dharma. Raghav Pandit had prepared many nice prakas, many types of cakes he had made, and pies, pies, sweet, 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 sweet rice, so pies, sweet rice, and divya salyana, salyana, what do you say? 
don't you know? Rice, very fine rice, fried with ghee, and then prepare. We say, Ghuta Palau. Huh? Ah, we say, Ghuta Palau. Very fine rice, fried with ghee. This is one type of one I know as Salyan. Very nice. Can you prepare this? You know? You know? Amurta Ninda is a vivid of union. Many types of sabji also prepared. So tasty. Even nectar is not so tasty. You understand? More tasty than nectar. Raghav Thakur Air Prasad Amrutir Sa. Mahaprabhu Dhakhaita Aishadava. Raghav Pandit was very expert. It was very nice salad, very tasty. So Mahaprabhu, again and again, goes there to have such prasad, to the house of Raghav Pandit. Mm. Every day, Mahaprabhu takes prasad at Raghav Pandit's residence. Mm. When Raghav Pandit offers prasad, at that time Mahaprabhu takes it, every day. Hmm. Hmm. At the time, um, residence of Raga Pandit, Srimati Radharani herself prepares the shop. And Nityan Prabhu and Sriman Mahaprabhu were very pleased, very happy to have such a shop. Hmm. All the devotees said to take the shop. Then they requested Raghunath Das to sit. But Raghunath Das said, No, 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 I'll sit later. I'll not sit with all the bodies. And Raga Pandit also said, All right, I'll let him sit later. Mm. So this is Raga Pandit's mercy on Raghunath Das. Because when Nityan Prabhu and Sriman Mahaprabhu, Finished eating, they are remnants. Raghavpandit gave to Raghuna. So that's mercy. Raghavir Kupa Raghuna Kerun Pari. Do we buy Raghavsis to Pastu Dina? Raghunga Ruchis to Seven Pori Raghuna. So when Raghuna got such remnants of Nityan Prabhu and Siman Mahaprabhu, Darva, he got their blessings and mercy. So now he is hmm, spiritually very strong, he becomes spiritually very strong to live home. Lot of mercy. Chaitanya Gosai Koryachan Bhodan, Tar says, Apparently, to Mark Pundilabon. Then Ragapandit says, Chaitanya Gosai. Saitra Mahaprabhu has taken prasad and you are so fortunate that you got his remnants. Now all your mm, bad stars are gone now. All your stakles are gone now. Now you can very easily live home. This mercy. Bhakta chitte bhakta gruhe sadavastam kabhu gupta kabhu bhakta sumantra bhagavan. This is bhakta vastra bhagavan. Krishna, the Supreme Personal Godhead, Bhagavan, Supreme Lord, mm, is so dear to his friends, to his devotees, and devotees are so dear to him. So, in the residence of Bhakto and in the heart of the Bhakto, that Supreme Lord always resides. Next day, in the morning, after bath, Nityan Prabhu sat down under that tree on the bank of Ganges. Do you understand? At Panihati. Mm, that banyan tree. At that time, Raghuna Das went to him and with folded hands prayed mm, for the blessings and mercy of Nithyan Prabhu that he will to enable him to get the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
রঘুনাথ আসি কইলা চরণ বন্ধন রাঘু পঞ্চক দ্বারা কইলা নিবেদন রঘুনাথ দাস কেম অধম পামর হীন জীবা হো মোর ইচ্ছা হয় পাই চৈতন্য চরণ বামন হইয়া যেন চান্দ ধরিবার চায় অনেক যত্ন করিনু তাতে কোন সিদ্ধ নয় যতবার পড়াইয়া আমি গুহাতে ছাড়িয়া পিতামা দাদু রাখি বাঙিয়া রঘুনাথ দাস আই এম লয়েস্ট অফ দি লম পাম ভেরি সিম্পল পার্সন লয়েস্ট অফ দি ম্যান কাইন্ড আই ওয়ান্ট টু গেট দি লোটাস পিট অফ চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু I am like a dwarf and trying to catch the moon. Do you understand? Which is impossible. Mm. I tried many times, mm. but I was not successful. Mm. Many times I ran away from home, but my parents cut me. I couldn't get out. Mm. Please, how are you, mercy, that I was able to get out of the home. Nithyant Prabhu is Guru of the Manifestation. Guru is the Manifestation of Nithyant Prabhu. So unless one gets Guru Krupa, the mercy of Guru cannot get the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Do you understand? Tumar Krupa Vina Kya Ho Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Tumi Krupa Koi Le Tare Adho Me Opaay. Ajagya Mui Nibedana Kori Te Kori Bhoi, Mare Chaitanya Deho Mosaayi Koiya Sadaay. মোর মাথে পদ ধরি করহ প্রসাদ নির্বিঘ্নে চৈতন্য পালন করো আশীর্বাদ নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু অনলেস ওয়ান গেটস ইয়োর মার্সি নো বডি ক্যান গেট চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু ইফ ইউ সাওয়ার ইউর মার্সি ইভেন ইন দ্য লোয়েস্ট অফ দ্য ল লোয়েস্ট অফ ম্যান খাইন্ড ইউ দে I am such a person, I am afraid to tell you this thing. Please, how are your mercy on me? Out of mercy, out of cosmic mercy, so our blessings on me, as a result of which I can get Chaitra Mahaprabhu. মোর মাথে পদ ধরি করহ প্রসাদ নির্বিঘ্ন চৈত্র পাও করো আশীর্বাদ প্লিজ পুট ইউর প্লেস ইউর ফুট অন মাই হেড দার বাই ব্লেস মি দ্যাট আই ইউ গেট চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু উইদাউট এনি ডিফিকাল্টি প্লিজ গিভ মি দিস ব্লেস নিতান প্রভু কুড সি দ্যাট রঘুনাথ দাস ওয়াজ সো ইগার নাম গেট চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু So Nityan Prabhu requested all the Vaishnavas and said, that to Sava, blessings on Raghunath. So he could get Chaitanya Prabhu, the Lord of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Pada Padma Gunda Dehijana Pai Brahma Loka Adi Sukhatare Nahi Bhai. Tabe Raghunath he Prabhu Nikati Golaila, Tar Mathe Pada Dhari Kohi Jalai. Then Nityan Prabhu called Raghunath to come close to him. Then he put his নিশ্চিন্ত ভবন অধীর নির্বিঘ্ন ভাবে this nice chudadadhi prasad which reminded me of Pulin Bhodan Leda in Dwapa. So, to shower his mercy on Iyo, Gaurang Mahaprabhu came here. And out of mercy also, he took prasad, chudadadhi prasad. And at night, 
he saw the ecstatic dance and took prasad in Raghav Pandit's house. So for, to deliver you, Goranga Mahaprabhu came here. This is mercy. Huh? Now all your bad stars are gone. All your difficulties are gone. All your obstacles are gone now. Nishchindu hoyada apna So now you go back home and without much delay, very quickly, with a very short time, without any difficulty, you can get out of the house and have the darshan of Srimad Sattva And all the Vaishnavas also give blessings to Raghunath Das, and Raghunath Das also to pay to pay senses, all the Vaishnavas there. And then Raghunath Das gave pranami to all the Vaishnavas. And Nitan Prabhu, one and all, feeding and pranami. This is Vaishnava etiquette. Feed a Vaishnava, keep pranami. You understand? Yes. Through Raghav Pandit, he gave all these things. In this way, Raghunath Das got the blessings eh, of Nityan Prabhu and Mahaprabhu and uh, all Vaishnavas. So he could get out the This was this stand now. So now Prasad rest on night. Then things are there. Hari Vo! Suman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki! Sri Nityananda Prabhu ki! Raghunatha Sang Goswami Nga Chudata Di Mahasrava Ki Samameta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Gaur Pramana So in the morning I spoke about Raghunatha Sang Goswami Chudata Di Mahasrava So that Mahasrava finished Raghunatha Sang Goswami Ji Pranami to all Vaishnavas and paid obeisances then Sri Raghav Pandit took him to his own house and showed him his worship duties and also respected him very much. Hmm. So Raghunath Das got the blessings, mercy and blessings of Nityananda Prabhu. Then he paid obeisances to Raghunath, I mean say uh, Raghav Pandit, then he went home. His parents' parental house. From that day he didn't enter into the house. He stayed outside the house. Outside the house there was a pendal named Durga Mandap. Do you understand? He stayed there and at night he used to sleep there. His uh, father, Govardhan Das, employed many watchmen to watch him, day and night. Many watchmen were watching him. Hmm. Every day he was thinking how Krishna will get, give him chance. Krishna will give him chance, he will Get away from this bondage, from this home, normal bondage. Mm. In the meantime, rainy season came, this season, Ratha Ratha Rai, this season, exactly. Mm. All Gaudiya Vaishnavas started to go to Puri. You understand? At that time they were going to Puri to Padadatra, chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> they were coming to Puri, Padadatra. <laughs> no vehicles, you understand? Padadatra. So all Gaudiya Vaishnavas, the Sankirtan, walking, coming to Puri. They will see Jagannath in the rock, and also Mahaprabhu was there. Also 
see him. Raguna didn't go with them because Raguna thought of if he would go with them, his father will, will catch him. So he didn't go with them. One day he was sleeping there in that Devi Mandap. By the last part of the night, hmm, so their family priest, Jodunandan Acharya, arrived there. Family priest. Hmm. That Jodunandan Acharya was the disciple of Adita Acharya. So, Raghunath Das paid obeisances to Jodunandan Acharya and asked why he had come, for the reason. Then Jadunandan Ataja said he had a disciple who was doing duty worship at his residence and he had left. Mm. There was no other Brahmin to do duty worship. So he had come to Raghunath Das to request him to go to that Sevak, to that Sishya disciple and send him back to his house, this Raghunam, Jadunathata, this house, do you understand? As it, it was the last part of the night, so all watchmen were asleep, do you understand, last part of the night, they were not awake, they were asleep, in sound sleep they had, nobody was awake. So that was opportunity. Mm. So Raghunath with Jadunandan Acharya left that place. So on the way Raghunath Das thought of to get away from Jadunandan Acharya. So he made a trick. He told Gurudev, you please go back home. I am going to your disciple's house, so I'll tell him and send him to your house, be assured. In this way, he got away from Jadunandan Atadhyas. Ardhapate Raghunath kahe Guru Charane Ami Sehi Vipre Sadi Pathai Utamastane Tumi Sukhe Gharaja More Agnya Ho Ehi Chale Agnya Magi Kola Nishya Sevak Rakshaka Arke Ho Nahi Sange Palaite Amar Bhava Ito Prasange. Raghunath thought of this is a golden opportunity to go away, leave this place and go to Puri's arm now. Nobody is with, was with him, he was alone. So very swiftly just he ran away from that place. Mm. He didn't uh, go by this, uh, mm, what do you say, main road, yes. Man wrote Rajpatha, you see. He didn't go. He went into some um, bypass like this, village road, uh, some jungle road, because his father would catch it. Saitanya Nityananda Charana Chintya Patha Chari Kupathya Jayana Bhaya. Thinking of the lotus feet of Sri Saitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu, he was going. Mm. And many mm, days passed. It's mentioned that within twelve days he reached the Puri. Within twelve days. Mm. How many days are you taking to reach Puri? From here? From here. No. From Bengal. <laughs> ah? And then he is within twelve days. <laughs> Running. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> you are stopping. <laughs> Continuous stay, walking, running. So, at one night, one evening, he took rest in the house of a coward boy and just took some milk, drank some milk. 
took some rest. He was so tired. Then Raghunath Das's father saw that Raghunath Das was not there. So he sent men to inquire there with the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, those who were going to Puri. So men went there, but they couldn't get in there, see in there. And another person is sent to his family priest's house, Guru, Jodhanandanatha's house. And Jodhanandanatha said that he went back home. He told me that he was going back home. But he has not gone home. So there was all talked about it that Raghunath left home and fled away. Mm. Mm. So all people came back. Messengers came back and informed his father that they couldn't see Raghunath anywhere. Hmm. Raghunath was always thinking of the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu and Srimad Mahaprabhu and he was just running swiftly, hmm, going. Within twelve days he reached the Puri. Within the, hmm, in the way, only three days he had taken some little rice, no food. Out of twelve days, do you understand? Every day you are eating <laughs> rice. <laughs> All right, you must eat. Krishna Prasad. <laughs> Then Raghunath went to see Srimad Mahaprabhu. At that time Mahaprabhu was sitting with the Sarvadhandra Goswami, Raya Ramananda and other devotees. Raghunath said, Dandavat Prana, Mukunda Dattva said, Ei, Aila Raghunath, told Mahaprabhu, or oh, Raghunath has come. Mukunda Dattva said, Mm. Then Mahaprabhu embraced him. Mm. All the devotees headed by Surup Dandar Goswami mm, also greeted him. He also paid his obeisance to Raghunath. All the devotees there all embraced him. Prabhu kahe Krishna Krupa Balistha Svahite, Tomare Kadilo Visho Vishta Gorto Hite. Raghunath Mani Kohe Krishna Nahi Jani, Tavakrupa Karila Ama Iyami Mani. Srimad Mahaprabhu said, Krishna Krupa, the mercy of Krishna is very powerful. So, you got that mercy, so you are now out from this Vishabhishtha, that means Grahandha Kupa. The Gruho, Gruho you understand? Oh, Gruho, eh? The Gruho is like a blind well, dark blind well. So Krishna is so merciful with you, such powerful mercy of Krishna that enabled you to get out of such blind well. You understand? It's like stool room, Vishobhistha, stool room. Now you are out. Raghunath Mane Kohe Krishna Nahi Jani. But Raghunath said to himself in his mind, I don't know Krishna. Thinking, saying to himself, I don't know Krishna. It is your mercy, O Mahaprabhu, that I, uh, I am not able to get out of this such dungeon, Vishabhishta, stool room. You understand? Then Mahaprabhu told Surabdhandra Goswami to take care of Raghunath Goswami. So, Raghunath Das Goswami was kept under the care of Surabdhanda Goswami. So people from that day call him Surupir Raghu. There are two Raghus, Raghunath Das Goswami, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. You think, you don't know? Two Raghus. 
रघुनाथ दास रघुनाथ भट्ट दिस इज रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी इज नोन एज स्वरूप इन रघु स्वरूप इन स्वरूप दामदर को स्वामी यू आज केप्ट अंडर स्वरूप दामदर को स्वामी महाप्रभु केप्ट फ्रॉम दैट डे इज यूज नोन एज स्वरूप इन रघु देन रघुनाथ दास शिवानंद सेन वॉज द लीडर ऑफ दिस पद रात्रि रघुनाथ फादर गोवर्धन दास सेंट मैन टू शिवानंद सेन टू get some news of his son message of the son hmm hmm shivananda sen told everything about raghunath das hmm then his father gobardhan das sent one brahman and one servant and 400 coins Some rupees, I think, silver coins at that time. Now this paper coin currency, you know, paper coins at that time, silver coin or gold coins. So silver coins sent to Raghunath Das Goswami. His father Govardhan Das sent one Brahman, one servant, and four hundred coins, rupees, to Raghunath Das to Puri. Raghunath Das. accepted that money and spent that money for mahaprabhu's bhikkhya bhikkhya means he invited was inviting mahaprabhu and giving him some food spending that money he did, himself didn't uh, utilize that money Do you understand every month two days he was inviting mahaprabhu for bhikkhya Mm. In this way, two years passed. Then he stopped receiving money from his father. Every month, his father was sending money. Then two years he did like that. After that, two years he stopped receiving money. He didn't receive money, refused money, and also he didn't re- invite Mahaprabhu. Stopped in Mahaprabhu's invitation also. Mm. The one day, Swarup Dandar Goswami asked Raghunath, "Why did you stop Mahaprabhu's invitation?" Huh? So Raghunath Das said, "We saw you on no khaylem body no hoy mano. My father is a bishoyi, a materially intoxicated person. Bishoyi lo, do you understand? Materially intoxicated person. So if someone will take." The anna given by anna, you know, food, huh? Food given by such a bishoyi person, materially intoxicated person, so mind will be puzzled. You see, huh? So all these uh, material thoughts will haunt the mind. You understand? Mind will be cloud, cloud. 
ক্রাউডেড ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড উইল নট বি ওনলি এ প্রেস বিষয়ের অন্য খেল মলি না হয় মানা আই ওয়াজ ডুইং দ্যাট এন্ড মহাপ্রভু ওয়াজ অ্যাকসেপ্টিং ইট ওনলি বিকজ অফ অ্যাফেকশন ফর মি অদরওয়াইজ আই কুড আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দিস ওয়াজ নট প্লিজিং মহাপ্রভু বিকজ ইজ বিষয় ইজ অন ডু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট আই সে হ্যাঁ because this food is given by a material intoxicated person mahaprabhu is not pleasing it is not pleasing to mahaprabhu so when mahaprabhu heard this he was very much pleased hmm not to say that bisoyro anno khaile molino hoy mono molino mono hoyle no hai krishna er smaran that's a fact if some vaisna will take anna food given by a bisoy lok material intoxicated person so mind will be clouded do you understand puzzled so she cannot think of krishna krishna will go away from his mind or metal falls will on his mind do you understand ragunadas was standing just in front of the lion's gate that's puri temple and begging with a begging bow and people those who were buying mahaprasad were giving something putting something in his bowl that by was getting some food do you understand hmm mahaprabhu could understand everything because he is supreme lord he is super soul so one day mahaprabhu asked his servant does uh, Raghunath Das is Raghunath Das begging food standing beside lion's gate anymore then a servant mahaprabhu servant said no now he is not standing there not begging he stopped that raghunath das hmm wow how is getting food mahaprabhu servant said he is going to chhatra and begging to there do you know chhatra some wealthy persons hmm, they distribute prasad give food distribute food not prasad they cook food and distribute to uh, such uh, beggars some beggars poor men beggars so raghunath das was getting that food like a beggar do you understand chhatra who is this chhatra you will find so many chhatras in vrindavan there are also and in haradwar kashi in that uh, rishikesh all these places find so many sotras you understand many um, well the person set low uh, they used to distribute food to sadhus like that mm. some days i had also <laughs> Satra, when I was a mendicant, sadhu, he was begging. <laughs> I had that experience. So Raghunath Das was doing that thing. Mm. Uh, when Mahaprabhu heard this, he was very pleased. Mahaprabhu said, Prabhu kai bhal kai lo chari lo singat dwar. Singat dwar bhi kya prati beshya raha tha. Yes. Dauna Das had done very nice that he um, gave up begging at the Singhadwa, Lion's Gate. Because if someone will beg, they are standing there beg, it is like a prostitute's activity. Vesyadruti, Mahaprabhu said. Then Mahaprabhu was very much pleased with Prabhupada. I named Sir Dauna Das activity. One day, Mahaprabhu called Raghunath and gave him one Govardhan Srila and one Gunja Mahala. Do you understand Govardhan Srila? You don't understand, eh? And Gunja Mahala is some necklace-like thing. Is Gunja is some red, red, what do you say? some 
some is the fruit of dried fruit or seed of a tree is look, look, looks red. We say gunja. It's a, like a necklace. So, you understand? That's gunja mara. You understand? There's some specific terms, difficult to express in English. <laughs> and yeah, you could understand it. Mm. So Mahaprabhu gave that Govardhan Srila and Gunjamala to Raghunath Das and told him um, that this Govardhan Srila is Krishna himself. You understand? Non different, is not different from Krishna. And you serve it, um, render service to it. Do its uh, service. Sometimes that Govardhan Srila was so um, favorite. Mah- Mahaprabhu was liking, loving it very much. Sometimes Mahaprabhu was putting that Govardhan Srila in heart, thinking by Krishna and shedding tears. Mm. You understand? Mahaprabhu had served that Srila for three years. Then he gave it to Raghunath Asya Swami. This shows how Mahaprabhu was uh, loving Raghunath Das. You understand? Mm. Then Raghunath Das, every day with tulsi leaf and Ganges wa- holy water, Ganges water, mm. uh, worshipping Raghunath Das Srila. Govardhan Srila. Mm. Sarva Goswami gave an earthen pot to get water, to keep water mm. to Raghunath Das. Mm. Some days Raghunath Das used to mm, render such service, do such service. Mm. One day Sarva Goswami told Raghunath, Raghunath, every day at least you will offer uh, khaja worth eight, what do you call it? At that time, no, this uh, mudra currency was there at that time. You understand? For this selling and buying, people are not using this currency. Eh? You understand, at that time. So, they were using kauri. What do you say? I don't know kawari. in English. Eh? Kawari. Eh? Kawari. 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 Yeah. Kawari. Yeah. Kawari. Kawari. Yeah. Kawari. Yeah. Kawari. 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 Is uh, some substance, uh, white substance, like uh, this is this uh, uh, aquatic. Uh, that's aquatic animal. A dead cell, dead cell of uh, some aquatic animal. A small white cell that we say cowrie, cowrie. You understand? That was uh, used as um, exchange, selling. <laughs> Buy. Mm. So eight cowl. <laughs> you purchase khaja. Khaja, you know, long substance. It was sold at Jagannath Puri. Some mm, sweet one, long. Yes. We say khaja. Huh? Eight kauri. Mm. You purchase khaja worth eight kauri and offer it to that Girdhari, that Govardhan Srila Krishna. Mm. Sardandar Goswami told and Raghunath. Das Goswami did it. Mm. Mm. Ravana Das Goswami, with much uh, love and with much sincerity, was doing bhajan. Mm. Mm. There he was bhajan anandi. Mm. Out of twenty-four hours, sade mm, uh, sata That means. Uh, 
22 hours, you see. Almost 22 hours you are doing bhajan. Out of 24 hours, I know. 22 hours you are doing bhajan. You understand? Sare sat praha. Only very little time he used to give for taking prasad. Say some 10 minutes like that. You understand? And and taking rest some half an hour or one hour, half an hour like that. Mm. Always engaged in bhajan. You understand? Spiritual body, Baba. Spiritual body, <laughs> not metal body. And he was putting on tattered clothes, very small, like from hip to, up to this, knee, tattered, tattered cloth, and bare body, when there was some winter cold like that, a tattered, what do you say, quilt, tattered quilt, just put up during winter season, nothing else. So great renunciation. Mm. Mm. So after some days he stopped begging in Satra. He didn't go to Satra and beg food. You understand? Stopped also that. He was just co- he just collected the refused Mahaprasad. Those people threw away. And the drains, you see. He was just picking up them and washing in water. And <laughs> some taking with some salt, that was true. And some he was just uh, mm, drying, he was drying in the sun, like that. Mm. Once uh, Surabdanda Goswami went to the bhajan kuti of Raghunath Das, and saw Raghunath was doing this thing and taking such prasad. Sordhandra Goswami took one handful, ate it, oh, so nice, tasty it is, that tasty. So Sordhandra Goswami informed, told Mahaprabhu that uh, Raghunath Das Goswami was having such food, and very tasty, I taste it. Once Mahaprabhu stillly went to Bhajan Kuti of Raghunath Das, and also took one handful, ate it, and very much pleased. Then Raghunath Das came running to me, Oh, Allah, what you did? This uh, food is not worthy for you to accept. Why did you eat such food? Hmm. Mahaprabhu said, Oh, you are eating so nice food, so tasty. Why are you not giving me? Then Mahaprasad, you see. Mm. Then Mahaprabhu, Raghunath Das Goswami fell flat at the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and cried and cried and cried. Uh, and Mahaprabhu embraced him. Mm. And Mahaprabhu was very much pleased at the such strict renunciation of Raghunath Das Goswami. Mm. I told like it up to this point, then I'll speak in English. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. So, mm, all right. Mm. So, Raghunath Das Goswami got so much love and affection of Srimad Mahaprabhu. Mm. So, all on a sudden, then Mahaprabhu disappeared from this planet. You understand? Disappeared from this planet. So all the devotees were very much aggrieved. They cried, they were very much aggrieved at the disappearance of Srimad Mahaprabhu. Mm, they felt so much thanks of separation from Mahaprabhu. 
in their banks of Siparas and was like fire. They were burning with that fire, devotees. Do you feel so? No. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. You should feel so. You understand? Yeah. So Raghunath Das Goswami also burnt with that fire. Fire of separation from Sri Mahaprabhu. The Mahaprabhu had ordered, before his disappearance, Mahaprabhu had ordered Raghunath Das Goswami to go to Dasadham, Vrindavan, where other Goswamis were there. Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami. Lognath Goswami, Gopal Bhatt Goswami, Lognath Bhatt Goswami, other Goswamis were there to go to them. So, carrying out his orders, he went. Lognath Das Goswami went to Brajadham. Mm-hmm. Previously there were Sri Sanatana Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, Gopal Bhatt Goswami, Lognath Bhatt Goswami, Sri Lognath Goswami, Kajishwar Pandit, Bhugar Goswami, all were there. Mm-hmm. And they were all staying there by the order of Mahaprabhu. So when they heard from Raghunath Das Goswami, Mahaprabhu disappeared, all of them also held the same bank of separation. Mm. Anyhow, they kept patience and they all part of the teachings of Srimad Mahaprabhu. And they were engaged to carry out the orders of Sri Mahaprabhu. They were all were great learned scholars, pandits. So they were all engaged in writing books. Then Sri Mahaprabhu heard, heard them. Mm. So at that time, many great learned scholars, pandits, poets, and kings were also coming to Brahmadham to such Goswamis. Mm. And at that time also, Mahan Acharya, Balavacharya also came there to Vrindavan, Balavacharya. Mm. So Raghunath Goswami was staying beside the Radha Kunda. Do you understand? Have you seen Radha Kunda? Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. At that time, Radha, Radha Kunda was very dirty, you understand? No, what you say, pure purificatory process was followed at that time. And at, see this, Raghunath Goswami was very much aggrieved in his heart and always thinking of how to make it nice, you, you understand? Once a great rich man, Set, Sergi, mm, came there. Mm. That Sergi had gone to Badrikasrama, Himalayas. Have you gone there? Badrikasrama? You have gone? Oh, okay. Badrikasrama, Himalayas. Mm. So, by, on foot. So, have you gone on foot? Badrikasrama yeah. went there. Oh, <laughs> very fortunate you are. <laughs> so, he went there on foot. Stayed there at night, Badri Narayan, Lord Badri Narayan is there. So, he worshipped Badri Narayan there, that said he, and uh, stayed there at night. And um, he offered a great deal of, a great amount, you see, of wealth to Badri Narayan, that said he. So at night, Badri Narayan told that said, you take away the, all this wealth, go to Pradhubhumi and give it to Raghunadas. Raghunadas is one of my dear devotees, he is there. Give all this wealth to Raghunadas. Anyway, dream, Badrinara, and told this thing to that side. You understand? Hmm. So, and also, Bhadi Narayan said in the dream, if Raghunath Das was unwilling to accept this wealth, tell my name. I have told this thing. Bhadi Narayan has told this thing. Tell my name. So he will accept it. So Sergi was very happy. Then he went back to his house. Then 
from his house, then went to Brajbhumi, I must say, the Vrindavan, Radha Kunda, where Raghunath Das Goswami was staying. Hmm. So he paid obeisances to Raghunath Das Goswami and told him everything what Bhadi Narayana had said in Bhadi Gadham. Hmm. So Raghunath Das Goswami was very much amazed. Hmm. So he told that said, all right, I order you, you clear these two kundas, Radha Kunda and Syam Kunda, and make it nice. So he engaged that set, that work, Ravnadas. And that said was very happy and did that work. Mm. Ah. So now those two kundas look nice. Mm. And uh, Syam Kunda, you see, Radha Kunda and Syam Kunda side by side. Syam Kunda was something curved, even not straight, curved. Mm. So that said so, and Ravana Das also was thinking how to make it straight. So there were five trees, they were five pandavas in tree form, they are still. So they thought of to cut up those trees and make it straight. So at night, those five Pandavas uh, came to Raghunath Das Goswami and asked him not to cut these trees. We were, we are there. You understand? Mm. So, Raghunath Das Goswami didn't cut those trees. Those trees were still there, but I heard now it is cut off. Yes, some rascals cut off one tree was only Yudhishthira tree is there. <laughs> and other four trees are cut off. Some rascals did like this, you see. I heard, I, I have not gone there. Uh, last two, three years I have not gone there. Mm, yeah, last year. Uh, you went there. Year. Those trees were there? Yeah, last year. Sir. Last year? No, this year I heard, I don't know. This year I heard. That's called, I don't know how far it is true, but I am very sorry, sorry. I some rascals doing such things, nonsense. Eh? Anyhow, mm, they will be punished one who has done so. Mm. So when the, both this Radha Kunda, Syam Kunda, mm, after five, all the devotees were very pleased, and also that said, mm, mm, uh, Dug up other kundas, kundas of Asta Sakhi is there also, he dug up there. And Raghunath Asko Swami also is very pleased. Mm. Uh, Raghunath Asko Swami had no cottage, no kutia. He was staying outside under a tree like that, no cottage, only gate. Mm. And sometimes, Raghunath Das Goswami was going to Manas Ganga. Have you seen Manas Ganga there? Manas Ganga, yes. Uh, Manas Ganga and staying there sometimes. At that time there was dense, dense jungle. Now jungle was clear. Dense jungle was there. Many these uh, tigers, lions, ferocious animals were staying there at that time. Mm. One day, Sanatana Goswami had gone there to Manas Ganga because Gopal Bhatta Goswami's Bhajan Kutir was there. So Sanatana Goswami went there. He went there to have his noon prasad there with Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Sanatana Goswami went there. So he took his bath in Manas Ganga in Pavan Ghat. Do you understand? And Sanatha Goswami saw at a little distance a tiger came and drank some water and went into the jungle. Mm. And then he saw Raghunath Das Goswami was sitting under a tree and doing his bhajan. And tiger was passing, you see. And then Sanatana Goswami was very much amazed. And then he Went to Raghunath Das Goswami said, Why are you doing your bhajan outside sitting? 
build a cottage, do your bhajan inside cottage. So from that day, Raghunatha Goswami built a cottage and did his bhajan inside the cottage. Mm. In Brother Dham, there were Sri Radha and Sri Sandravali. You understand? Radha and Sandravali. And both of them are beloved of Krishna, Radha and Chandravali. You understand? Srimati Radharani and Chandravali. Chandravali, like Radharani. You understand? Like two co wives. <laughs> you understand? Mm. And Radharani had his, her sakis, group of sakis, sakis you saw. And Chandrabali also had her sakis. Do you understand? Innumerable sakis they had. Mm. And Raghunath Goswami is, is one of the sakis of Radharani. Do you understand? Raghunath Goswami is, is one of the sakis of Radharani. Uh, and uh, it is mentioned in Gaur Ganandesh Deepika that in Krishna Nira, Raghunath Goswami was a Rasmanjari. You understand? Rasmanjari. So it is one of the Sakis, Manjari, Sakis of Radharani. Mm. So the Sakis of Radharani never go to the group of Chandrabali. You understand? They never go there. Chandrabali's place, they never go there. Mm. Um, and never talk with beer. In Sakis of Chandrabali also. Mm. One day a Brajavasi Bhakta came mm. uh, to Raghunath Das Goswami and gave a cup, a cup made of leaf, leaf cup, we say dana. Do you understand? What do you say in English? Leaf cup. We say like that. No other word is there. We say dana. Huh? Uh, filled with the jogrut is a liquid jogrut. Very Goldohi, we say what in English we don't know. Some thick jogrut and some uh, liquid jogrut. We say goldohi. You understand? So one dana filled with gold oil he offered to Raghunath Das Goswami. And from that day onwards, every day he was giving one dana of gold oil to Raghunath Das Goswami. You understand? That Brajavasi Bhakta. Mm. One day, mm, um, and Raghunath Das Goswami only accepting that Jogru, this uh, Litka, huh? that is his only food all day, he is not taking anything else and doing bhajan, all is engaged in bhajan. Mm. So one day that brother Vasi Bhakto mm, went to that Sakhi Thali, Chandravali's place, mm. and he, he was standing cows, that brother Vasi Bhakto, so he went there, he saw very, very a nice polas tree, polas tree. So nice leaves, very broad leaves, nice leaves, polas leaves were there. So he plucked up some leaves and made cough, leaf cough. So with that cough he filled that yogur, liquid yogur, and brought it to Ravana Daswaswami. Gave him. Raghunath Das Goswami saw that leaf cup looking very nice. So Raghunath Das Goswami asked him, ah, where did you find this leaf mm, and leaf cup? Very nice. Then that Bhakta said, I had two days gone for tending cows to that Sakhi story, Chandrabhati's place. There I saw this and said, saw Raghunath Das Goswami got angry and throw out, threw away that, take up, I don't have it. 
I will touch it. This is from from Rabadi's place. Do you understand what I say? <laughs> Three way. Mm. Ah. From so he said, don't get anything from that place. I won't accept. Mm. And that brother Vasi Bhakta was so amazed seeing how oh, Raghunadas Goswami is uh, such a wise addicted, he is so much addicted to Radharani. Do you understand? No oh, light, I was speaking English. I am so old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ravuna Das Goswami was always engaged in bhajan and in his mind he was serving Radha Krishna. Hmm? Radha Krishna Seva Manasi Kurige. Do you understand? Radha Krishna Seva Manasi Kurige. Yes, that was Mahaprabhu's instruction to Ravuna Das Goswami. Hmm. When Raghunadas Goswami left home completely, went to Puri and became so great to renunciate, he asked Mahaprabhu, what is my duty now? What shall I do? Mahaprabhu said, Bhalana khaibe, bhalana paribe. Gramya katha, na bolibe, na sunibe, gramya katha, na bolibe. Bhalana khaibe. Hello, na paribe. Brother Radha Krishna Seva, mano se koribe. Ammani mano da hoya Krishna mano sabda lobe. Do you understand? That was the order of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Do you understand? So you understand. <laughs> Famous verses, you see. When he asked Mahaprabhu what is my duty, what shall I do? Mahaprabhu said, you, you should not eat tasty food. Bhalana khaibe. Bhalana paribe. You should not put on nice gorgeous dresses. So he was putting tattered cloth, you see. Hmm. Bhalana khaibe, bhalana paribe. Vrajya eh? radha kusna seva, haa gramya bharta na kohibe, gramya bharta na sunibe. Don't speak about politics or topics relating to sense gratification. Only speak about Krishna. And don't hear about it also. Only speak, hear about Krishna. Then, Brother Radha Krishna Seva Manuse Karge. In meditation, in your mind, you will be always engaged in serving Radha and Krishna in Drajbhumi. Is in mind only. Do you understand? Brother Radha Krishna Seva. Manuse Gori, Omani Mananda Hoya Kusno Nanus of Dalobe. You should not demand respect. You should pay respect to one and all, Omani Mananda, and always be engaged in Kusno Pada. So he was doing like that. You understand? So Manusho Shiva. In mind, in meditation, he was serving. So one day, he cooked some sweet rice, milk with rice, do you understand, here in meditation for Radha Krishna and offered it to Radha Krishna also in meditation. And Radha and Krishna happily with much pleasure took it. Other sakhis of Radha and Krishna also took it and the remnants were taken by Ravana Das Goswami himself. You understand? It's all meditation, in meditation. Ah. So Ravana Das Goswami ate too much that day. Too much ki for manna. You understand? Mm. So stomach was so heavy. Mm. Ah. So he closed the door of cottage, slept. So it was then next day morning, the door was not open. It became noon, the door was not open. So all the devotees were very much in anxiety. What happened? <coughs> Raghunadas Goswami 
this cottage door is not opening. So they all called, afternoon. So afternoon he opened the door of his cottage and also he was sleeping. He went stand then asked, hmm, why are you sleeping? Then Raghunadas Goswami says, I am very, very sick. Mm. So the devotees were very much shocked, aggrieved, mm. very sorry. At once, immediately, they sent news, message to the Sanatana Goswami, who was staying at that time uh, uh, with Balavacharya in Mathura. Do you understand? So, Balavacharya mm, sent to Vaidyas, doctors, Vaidyas. Do you understand? So, Raghunath asked Swami, go and see and give medicine what had happened. Nari dekhi chikitsaka kahe bara bara dugdha anna khailo yi hoi se video bara. So, Nari, do you know Nari? False, false. Chikitsaka, that Vaidya just examined Nari and said, oh, he had eaten too much. This kheer, <laughs> you understand, he had eaten too much, this dugdha no kheer, therefore he is sick. Mm. So all were amazed. He has not eaten anything. What is that? <laughs> the doctor says, too much for a man, no? Oh, <laughs> all were amazed. Mm. Then all could understand the mystery behind it. You understand? Hmm. Raghunadas Goswami was such a great devotee, wonderful devotee, and his bhajan was so wonderful. Hmm. In Gauravanandas Deepika, Kavikarna Prabhu Swami has written that in Krishna Leela, Raghunadas Goswami was a Rasamanjari, and some say he was a Rasimanjari, and some also say he was Anumati, like that. Written in Gauraganandas Deepika. So Raghunadas Goswami had written some books. Most famous among them is Tavavali, Dhancharit, Muktacharit, so many other songs also, Vilapakushmanjali, so many books he has written. Then some nice books. And his birth is 1428 Sakabdha. And his, uh, he disappeared in 1504 Sakabdha. And his uh, duration of staying here on this planet is 75 years. This is all about um, the um, holy life history of Sri. So this is a mysterious day, so we speak about him and I will just sing a kirtan, the song. What was the instruction of Srimad Mahaprabhu to sannyasis, to bairagis. Srimad Mahaprabhu gave some instruction to Raghunadas Goswami, that is instruction to all sannyasis and bairagis. Bairagi kori vesada nama sankirtana Bairagi kori vesada nama sankirtana
he cannot get Krishna. He is a person who is too much attached to his palate and to his genital. How to give pleasure? He will never get Krishna. This is the instruction given by Srimad Chaitra Mahaprabhu to Raghunadas Goswami and this instruction of all the Vairagis. You understand? And Raghunadas Goswami was very strictly following these instructions. You understand? So this is not so. Some of the holy life history of Raghunadas Goswami. Stop it. <laughs> so your prasad is ready? Give prasad. Namantari, you'll take prasad, go and take stress. Raghunadas Goswami, Chudadadi Mahosav ki jai. Raghunadas Goswami, Pusa Saritavali ki jai. Gaur Bhakta Vrunda ki jai. Samaveda Bhakta Vrunda ki jai. Gaur Pramana Vrunda All glory to assembled devotees. Hare 